Hello, I'm Greg Jung, auctioneer and senior specialist at PBA Galleries in San Francisco. On Thursday, November 21st, PBA Galleries will hold our auction number 521, a collection of fine and rare books, finely bound books, books from a variety of fine presses, as well as fine art, prints, and photographs. With over 430 lots in this auction, from a 12th century manuscript Bible in Latin to 21st century fine printings, and from one of the first printed books with illustrations, the Nuremberg Chronicle of 1493, to James Joyce's Ulysses with etchings by Henri Matisse, there is something for nearly every collecting interest. The fine and rare books portion of our November 21st sale includes works such as this 1651 printing of the Fables of Aesop, the first edition translated by John Ogilby and considered to be the earliest obtainable edition in, Eng in the English language. This copy is in a fine modern Morocco binding with an estimated value of six to nine thousand dollars. Also estimated at six to nine thousand is the 1687 edition of Cervantes' The History of the Most Renowned Don Quixote of Mantra, the first illustrated English language edition. Of a more modern vintage, but no less rare, is this 1953 pamphlet entitled Genetical Implications of the Structure of Deoxyribonucleic Acid. This was the second paper by James Watson and Francis Crick on DNA, and this offprint from the magazine Nature was produced for the use of the authors. We are able to locate only two copies of this rare pamphlet in institutional collections. It's estimated at $20,000 to $30,000. Behind me, you see a selection from the more than 100 lots of finely bound books and sets that comprise the second portion of our auction. From individual volumes bound by the leading binders of the 20th century to sumptu sumptuously bound s sets of works by some of history's best known authors, these lots would be a welcome addition to any bibliophile's library. Among the highlights is this set of the large paper library edition of the Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, finely printed on Japan vellum and beautifully bound in a full blue Morocco binding. It's one of only 250 sets of this edition to have been printed, and is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000. Also among the fine sets in this sale is this edition of the Waverly novels of Sir Walter Scott, fabulously bound in what the publisher describes as an autumn leaf binding of full Morocco, the set is complete in 51 volumes and is one of only 12 copies of the extra illustrated edition. It is estimated at $7,000 to $10,000. In addition to finely bound sets, there are many individual works bound by some of the leading binding firms of the 20th century. The binderies of Revere and Son, Bainton, Sangorsky and Sutcliffe, and Zanesdorf are well represented in this collection. Each lot of these finely bound books has been photographed for the online version of our catalog at pbagalleries.com. The fine press section of our sale includes specimens from the fine English printers of the Ashendine and Kelmscott presses, as well as examples from many other presses from both sides of the Atlantic. Among the rarities is this fine printing of 1601, Mark, T Mark Twain's irreverent tale of flatulence and sex in the court of Queen Elizabeth. This edition was published by the Derrydale Press, though it does not bear the name of the press and is a far departure from their usual sporting theme. It's a legendary Derrydale rarity, and the present copy is only the third to appear at auction since 1975. It is estimated at $15,000 to $25,000. More than 60 lots of works published by the Limited Editions Club are also included. Most are signed by the illustrator or others involved in their production. Many of the lots include several works by a particular author or illustrator or with a common theme. The final section of our catalog includes prints, photographs, and other original works of art. Of particular interest are this complete series of nine progressive prints by San Francisco pr poster artist David Lance Goines for the Berkeley Printing Company Rainbow Zenith. The frame prints begin with the blank sheet and add one color at a time, the ninth print being the completed poster. Goines' progressives are quite rare, and the series is estimated to sell for between $2,000 and $3,000. Another San Francisco area artist included in this sale is Edward Hagedorn. Along with several lots of prints by him, we are pleased to offer this original sketchbook containing approximately 90 original drawings of nude women. Hagedorn studied briefly at the San Francisco School of Fine Arts and is often associated with the Blue Four Modernist Group, though he repeatedly refused offers to exhibit. Considering, considering himself an artist who, in his words, had no use for success. The sketchbook was presented by Hagedorn to a friend and has never before been offered for sale. It is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000.
These items, along with more than 400 additional lots, will be offered in our San Francisco Gallery on Thursday, November 21, 2013, at 11 a.m. Pacific. All lots are available for preview the week of the sale, and the catalog is now available for download at pbagalleries.com. Pre-sale bids are now being accepted, and live bidding is available during the auction through our online bidding platform, PBA Live. We hope to see you there. Thank you.